More small businesses are having trouble getting loans, even with money left in the fund. And this is an even bigger issue for independent contractors who run their own company. Our Isaac Pekash is joining us live at one of those businesses struggling to get help. Isaac? Mike and Amanda, thank you. Gem City Permanent Cosmetics and Spa Lapis here actually opened their doors right before the start of COVID-19. Of course, then they were quickly forced to shut down. And right now, the fight to stay open is still continuing as the funding process is getting more and more difficult. Spa Lapis opened back in February, but owner Amanda Paprosky started creating the business two years ago. She's put $250,000 into her shop, but had to close shortly after opening due to the virus. During COVID-19, Amanda has taken four salon sanitation classes to ensure her place is ready to go when allowed. But one thing she hasn't been able to receive are loans or any type of grants. Right now, unfortunately, I'm using my credit card until I can get um, some assistance from the government or be allowed to open my establishment. Banda applied for multiple types of financial help but was denied each time. She believes places like hers are being overlooked in favor of larger companies. It's pretty saddening as a whole considering that small businesses are the brick and mortar of America rather than the corporations in my opinion. If Spa Lapis is able to reopen, Amanda is wanting to expand the shop. She hopes to add employees to do nails and other cosmetic work as well as start a garden in the building's backyard. But Amanda knows that may be a long way off if she can't get proper funding. I spent my entire life savings opening this business because I'm passionate about what I do in my community and I just finally expended the last that I had opened in February and I didn't have anything left as a cushion. Now some small businesses have been able to get funding but the question is how difficult will it be to pay the loan back? Well coming up at six I'm going to tell you exactly what the SBA expects from business owners to repay the loan on time. Isaac Petcash, Erie News Now.